Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a baby clothing haul video for you. When I hit 26 weeks, I began nesting and I had to go out and buy loads of baby clothes in preparation for his arrival. I've also cleared up um, that wardrobe back there and put everything in the chest of drawers in front of me into there and then this chest of drawers I will use for his baby clothes. We also have quite a few big baby items like the pram, car seat, bottles, etc. Um, and I'll make a separate video on all of that. This is just for his clothing and blankets. Some of the stuff my mum has purchased and then the rest me and my husband have bought. Most of the clothes are from newborn to up to six months. They are mainly um, sleep suits. <laughs> I haven't bought any outfits or anything like that for him just because I want to wait until he gets here and then we'll look at what size he is because um, we're not sure whether he'll be able to fit into newborn or whether he needs to start from zero to three months straight away. So I didn't really want to buy too many things. I've bought enough to get us by for the newborn stage for at least a week or two and then if we need to we can always go out and buy some more clothes. I was told it's really important not to go overboard with newborn clothes because they don't really stay in them for very long. Like I mentioned some don't even wear newborn and they go straight into zero to three months but some that do wear newborn they're only in it for like six weeks so we didn't want to buy too much and then I've bought enough zero to three months three to six months um, to get us by during the transition and again we'll buy more as we need. I haven't gone expensive with the clothes most of the clothes are from Asda and Primark and then we've got a couple of other shops as well that we've bought from um, and that is mainly because again they grow out of their clothes so quickly and they're always sick on their clothes and they poop in their clothes so I didn't want to get anything too expensive that's probably either going to get ruined or he may never wear because he's grown out of it too quickly so I think when he's got to a point where he can be in some clothes for a little bit longer I might look to buy him something a little bit more expensive but to be honest I myself wear a lot of Primark um, so really I think he'll be fine in Primark as well. So anyway let's get into the video. The first set of clothing I'm going to show you are what we've got of him for newborn and I'll tell you how much they cost and where they're from. Okay, so let's start with the basics first. The first item I wanted to show you are these bodysuits. So I got these from Primark in newborn size um, and there's three in a pack for £2.30, so an absolute bargain. These are the short sleeved bodysuits, um, which I want to put under his uh, sleep suits. Um, it does say on here that it's £7.5, so if he's an £8 baby, then he's not going to fit into these. Um, so again, I didn't want to buy too many, I bought two packs of these. I bought both of these packs in white just because I thought they are going underneath his clothes, so really they don't need to be patterned or anything like that. So yeah, so two packs of those. So I've got six bodysuits in newborn. Next item I purchased are these um, sleep suits and these are from Matalan. So they're white. This first one has um, elephants on there. So there's like an adult elephant and a baby elephant following um, and it says growing every day. Um, these have the buttons and they also have the um, mittens, built in mittens. And then at the bottom they have the feet as well. So there's this one, it's a pack of three. There's this one with stars on it. And then the last one is this one with elephants. And a lot of these elephants are upside down. Some of the right way around, but yeah, just thought that, that was a little bit funny. But they're all the same and it's just, again, like I mentioned, newborn size. This one doesn't have um, a weight on it. So I don't really know how um, big the baby needs to be to fit into these or won't fit into these um so yeah so we'll just give them a go they seem a little bit big so i think he'll be okay with wearing these um this pack of three cost 12 pounds um, and like I said, I bought those from Matalan. I then have a three sleep suits that my mum bought me for um, when we had our gender reveal party. I'm not sure where she's got these from, but um, they are in newborn size. Again, it doesn't say exactly uh, what weight these are for, um, but this first one is really nice and colourful. It's got 
bees on it, rainbows, caterpillars, butterflies, trees and all sorts on it. So that's really, really cute. The next one is a plain white one with a B on it and it says bzzz. <laughs> so again, really, really cute. And then we've got this plain yellow one as well. So she bought these before we found out the gender of the baby. So I'm just glad that they're neutral and can be used for either boy or girl. The next item we bought are some mittens and these will go with those sleep suits that my mum bought because they don't have the built-in mittens. So this is a pack of five and I bought these for £2.50 and these were also from Matalan. Um, I kind of wish I hadn't bought these to be honest because I have seen um, Asda and Primark sell hats with mittens, a two pack of hats with two packs of mittens. So. I'm going to end up with so many mittens I don't think I need because a lot of the box sleep suits that we bought have built-in mittens. Um, I'll use these if it is quite hot one day um, and the baby is just in a sleep suit. Um, I can always put this on um, so they're not scratching their face. The reason I keep referring to baby as baby and uh, not a name is because we still don't have a name for him. Um, so yeah, please leave any comments down below if you have any names that you like. Uh, we are kind of umming and ahhing between two names, um, so hopefully one of them will stick. But anyway, that's everything that I've bought for newborn size. So that's six bodysuits and six sleep suits. Um, and a pack of mittens. I haven't really bought anything else. If baby is cold, we'll just wrap him up in a blanket. But I do have a um, cardigan, um, a hoodie in the zero to three months size that I'll show you in a bit. Um, he, I'm sure, can wear that if he does get cold. I have been struggling to find a hat in newborn size. Um, he does have one with one of his outfits in, in the zero to three months. Um, so I might just use that one, but if I can try and find another one so he's got two hats that he can wear, um, I will buy that. After filming this video, I actually went into H&M and I found this pack of two hats for £3.99. They were in newborn size and they were the only ones left. I've got a grey one and a blue and white stripy one. I thought these were perfect. They don't have the knot at the top that you see with most baby hats, but I do prefer this look. Moving on to zero to three months, I bought a pack of white bodysuits again. These are, like I mentioned, £2.30. I bought two packs of these for zero to three months. Um, again, just to wear under his sleep suits. So they don't need to be patterned or anything like that. I also bought them in long sleeve as well. And these ones are £3. Um, and I also bought them... The long sleeves in the blue pack and these are £3.30 so a little bit more for the blue pack but the reason I bought these were to go with some trousers that I bought for him. These are the trousers that I bought so as you can see they'll match those bodysuits quite well um, but I just thought instead of him always being in baby bros he can be in these and he'll be quite comfortable to wear these at home as well. This pack cost £10 and it's a five pack. This first one has dinosaurs on it um, we've got a plain blue one, a stripy one, more dinosaurs, and a plain red one. So I thought that those bodysuits with the long sleeves would go really, really well with this pack. These trousers do have a weight on them as well, and it says up to £12. So, yeah, so that could go for quite a while. But yeah, it's nice for him to be in something a little bit different sometimes as well. I also have this little um, hoodie that we got for him from Primark. This was actually £2, so really, really cheap. Um, again, zero to three months size, but it's absolutely tiny. And I think he could probably wear this um, from newborn. Um, so that's why we don't really have a cardigan for him for newborn and I just thought he can either wear this or we can just wrap him up really tightly. He's going to be born in September so it may still be a little bit warm in September um, and then by the time he's transitioning to zero to three months it may then cool down. So that he can wear with those outfits. Um, with it being grey, he can wear it with anything really. I then got him packs of sleep suits. Again, these are from Primark at zero to three months and these are £6.50 each. 
um, for each pack. Um, as you can see, that's what they look like and they've got the built-in mittens as well. This one is bear themed and we've got some bears at the top here. It says bear, baby bear and I think this one's a plain blue. And then we've got a stripy one at the bottom. Um, so this newborn pack, it just says 62 centimetres and that's what the other ones say as well. So I think that's the length that the baby needs to be for it to fit. Um, but yeah, but I'm sure he'll be okay with those. I also bought this set. Um, again, set of three at £6.50. We've got um, a green one up at the top here with rainbows on it, um, big smiles and a sunshine picture, and then a stripy one at the bottom as well. So he's got six um, body, six sleep suits from Primark. And then we also bought some plain white sleep suits as well, because I think babies look really, really nice in white. Um, and this is a pack of three from Asda this time, and it says 12, pal uh, 12 pounds. That's the weight that's on it. These ones also have the built-in mittens and the feet. And this one cost us five pounds 50. So again, really, really cheap. Um, this one's actually cheaper than the Primark ones, but that's probably because it's plain white. We also had a look in H&M and my husband picked this out. It's a Winnie the Pooh outfit. So this is a Winnie the Pooh bodysuit with um, some ears and it's got some poppers up here at the top. Um, and of course poppers at the bottom for nappy change. It's just got Winnie the Pooh's face on it. And then in the back you can see that we've got some trousers. So it's just got loads of little Winnie the Poohs on it. Um, so it doesn't have feet and neither do the trousers that I bought before. So we have bought socks for him. Um, and then this one is the one that comes with the hat. So this is the hat that I'll be using um, with some of his newborn outfits as well if I can't find another set of hats. Um, but this is a three piece set and it cost us 9 Um And it just says two to four months on this one. So I thought it would just fit fine in the zero to three months section. As you can see, it's quite small, so it looks like it's about that size. Finally, in zero to three months, we bought um, some baby socks. So this is a five pack, and we got these from Matalan. We've got a star one, just a plain white one, a stripy one, um, a white star one, and then a plain blue one. Um, and this is four pounds for those. Um, as you can see, they're quite small and we don't have any socks for newborn. He does have the sleepers. He doesn't have any trousers to wear as newborn So at the moment. So really he doesn't need socks. Um, but if he did and we were desperate to have some socks, we could always just put these ones on him. I don't really wanna buy too many socks. Like I said, babies don't tend to wear too many socks. Um, if he's wearing an outfit where he needs socks, it's fine, and if um, I'll if I lose these, then I'll buy some more. Moving on to three to six months. Again, you guessed it. I've got these white body suits in short sleeves, and I've got um, a three pack here. But I did buy a, two of these. So again, six pack, um, six of these at two pound thirty each. I also bought these long sleeve ones from Asda. This is like a cream one, and then I got the blue one as well and these are both £4.25 each. Um, there's three in each pack and it says that it goes up to £18. So, so yes, yeah, so a baby can be wearing these for a lot longer. Um, and the reason I got these were to wear with these trousers. So I got the blue pack to wear with this set of trousers. So these are blue stripy trousers. And then we've got some blue plain ones. Yeah, a darker blue plain one. And we have a sort of gray stripy one. So that he can wear with the blue pack. And then with the oatmeal cream pack, I've got this set. So this is like the black stripes. Plain black one, plain grey one, and then again a grey stripy one. So I thought he could wear the other pack with this. So these pack of four trousers are £8 each, 
Um, so yeah, that's two pound per trouser. Again, they don't have the feet, so we have got some socks for him as well. These are the socks that we have, and these are from uh, Matalan. I didn't like these at first, and I did want to return them, but now that we have those trousers, I think those trousers match these socks quite well. Um, so these are a pack of four, and they are three pounds. We also bought some sleep suits for him in this size. So we've got this first pack, again, six pounds fifty from Primark. We've got a yellow one with some animals printed on it. We've got this plain green one with a couple of animals on the side here, and it says, I love my family. And then we've got this white one, again, with animals, but it's just a little bit more um, colourful with the animals. The other pack that we got is this one. This is a little bit brighter than what I liked, but they don't really have much of a variety and we were running out because we've got quite a few different ones. But honestly, he's just gonna sleep in these or be at home in these, so it doesn't really matter. My husband does prefer this pack, he quite likes it. He prefers brighter colours and I prefer more muted neutral colours. But this one here is a dark blue one with dinosaurs on it. This is a plain blue one and it's got just a dinosaur in the corner here and it says Mummy's Little Dino. And then we've got this um, stripy one at the bottom as well. Um, I do think that, you know, they're young only once, so sometimes it's nice to dress them up um, and take advantage of that um, in colourful clothing. Um, for him, we also bought this um, cardigan, and I actually found this in the girls section, but I think it works well for boy or girl. There were some uh, grey ones in the boys section, but I just wanted this one. I didn't like the, the way the grey one looked. It, was, um, it wasn't just plain grey, it was like... Um, grey mixed with white, it wasn't It wasn't really nice, I didn't like it, so I bought this plain white one and I thought it would go with pretty much everything. It's got um, four buttons, um, and I don't know if you can undo these ones. Oh yeah, so you can undo those. So yeah, so it's got four buttons on it, uh, the rest of it's open, it's not lined inside, it's just knitted. Um, long sleeves of course, and it's got a hood at the back. The hood is lined with a star pattern. Um, and it's got little ears on the hood, so really nice and cute. Um, but yeah, it just seemed quite big. Um, the zero to three month one is actually bigger than the hoodie as well. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how he fits in that. Of course, we can buy him some more um, cardigans or hoodies um, for this age because this is the age where it's going to get a little bit colder for him. It's going to be December, um, December, January, February, so it's going to be really, really cold. So for that reason I bought him a separate woolly hat as well, it's just a plain blue one and it's got ears as well. This one's from Matalan, oh I don't think I told you how much this one cost. This one's from Primark and it cost £6. So yeah, so going back to this hat, it cost £3 for us and it was from Matalan. Finally, I have got him a baby sleep suit as well. This one I bought from Asda. This was actually our first baby purchase. I think I was 18 months pregnant when I bought this. Um, so I was shopping in Asda and I walked past it and I saw it on sale actually um, and I just couldn't resist. At the time, of course, we didn't know if we were having a boy or a girl and I thought this dark blue colour is a gender neutral. Um, I wear lots of dark blue and so did my niece. So I think this will go fine whether it was a boy or a girl. So I couldn't pass on it. I made sure to buy it in the three to six month size because I know that that's when it's going to be really, really cold. Um, so this will keep him nice and cosy. This was £16 and it was reduced to half price, so I got it for £8. It's got two zips on either side here and the zips are really cute. They've got like little bear prints on them. It's got this lovely lining inside of a stripy pattern. The hands do have the built-in mitts so you can just fold this over. And then the feet um, as well. So it's a nice a fluffy teddy bear material. Um, so yeah, so I thought that that was a really good buy. I couldn't not buy it. <laughs> so yeah, so that's everything we bought for three to six months. Again, as you can see, we've not gone overboard. We've just bought basics mainly. I don't think I'll be buying him um, 
any more hats. That cardigan does come with a hood, so does his um, prom suit. So I think that'll be enough. And then lastly for clothing, we have this pack of three bodysuits that my mum bought for us again for our baby shower. So these are gender neutral. Um, she bought them in 9 to 12 months, so quite a while away before he has to wear these. Um, it will be coming on to summer when these are wearable, um, which is nice that they've got, you know, they're not so plain like my ones. We've got this grey one that he can wear um, and he can put some shorts with it or something. We've got this white one with a lion on it and it just says safari on it. And we've got this white one here with lots of different animals on it. Again, some of these animals are upside down. It's got elephants, zebras, a lima and a lion, all sorts, all sorts on there. So um, that'll be nice for him to wear um, when it comes round to next year. Um, so that's everything that we've got clothing wise. We're gonna move on to what else we've purchased. So my mum also purchased this um, little comforter. I think she got this from Home Bargains and this, um, I don't know how much this cost, but um, I thought it was really cute. I went into Home Bargains um, another day after her and there's a pink one there and a white one with a grey face. But I didn't really like the grey face, I preferred this blue one. So I'm glad she picked this one. I also bought two three packs of muslin squares. Um, so this is a blue one. The first one has monsters on it. Um, and then we've got a plain blue one and then one with stars on it. The second pack has um, animals on it. A plain grey one and um, grey stars on it. So these I bought from Primark and they both both cost £3.30, so again, very, very cheap. I am still on the hunt for a large muslin blanket, um, just in case I want to swaddle him with. Um, so yeah, so I don't know where to get those from, but I'll still be looking to buy that. We also got a couple of towels for when he has a bath. So this one my mum purchased and it just says wild at heart and it's got this bear picture on it and a cloud. Um, this is the um, thing you put your hand in to wash them down with and then this is the towel part so this is the bit that goes is a triangle shape that goes over his head um, and then of course the rest of it is just plain white. We um, got this one from Asda so again this has got the triangle bit where you put your head in uh, baby's head in and it's just got uh, stars on it so these are both just grey and white towels um, I don't think this one comes with um, a thing to put in your hand to wash him with but I don't think we'll get much use out of that anyway so they're the two towels that we've got I don't know how big they are but they don't look very big so I'm not sure how long we'll be able to use it but he'll, it'll be fine while he's newborn we then have some blankets so We've got this lovely white blanket with these spots on. I've seen these everywhere. This pack is from Home Bargains again. Um, and my mum bought this. I don't know how much it cost. <laughs> so um, yeah, you can get that at Home Bargains. We've got this one that we bought from George at Asda. Um, and this was... Hmm. Again, not too sure how much this one was, um, but it's just plain white. Um, it's like a really soft material um, and it's got rainbows on it. Um, and then finally, we have this uh, cellular blanket and it's plain white. And this came um, from my brother. It was, uh, he's gifted us a Moses basket. Well, he hasn't gifted us, he's let us borrow his Moses basket. Um, and of course it came with, um, covers and he, it also had this in it so I think he must have just decided to keep it with the Moses basket and give it to us so these are quite important for when they're sleeping just so that if it does go over baby's face um, baby can still breathe so it's important that you get a cellular blanket um, it's not very big this one but I think it will do the job um, you, they do sell bigger ones as well in Asda I've seen for five pounds for the white one so um, if I do need a bigger one, I can always go out and get that one. And then finally, we've got two packs of bibs. My mum went out and bought this pack. 
um because you didn't realize i'd already bought a pack this is two pounds and again i think it was from home bargains we've got a plain white one with some stars on it um a blue one with some smaller stars on it and then this blue stripey one um, these are ones with poppers on them, mine one, mine are a little bit different, um, so yeah, so we'll see how we get on with these ones. Um, and then my ones look like this, I got these from um, Matalan I want to say, is that these from Matalan? Yep, yeah, they're from Matalan, and they were £3 for a pack of five, um, and these have the um, waterproof material on the back, and I thought it might be good for if, um, you know, is dribbling <laughs> so he doesn't it doesn't go through onto his clothes we've got a plain blue one here a stripey one a plain white one and then one with stars on it oh, and then we've also got another plain blue one so yeah so this this pack has the velcros at the back um and then it just says it comes in one size there isn't really a size guide to it i think the other one yeah, the other one's also one size so we'll see how we got on we'll see which one we prefer i know there are some bandana style ones as well that i've seen a lot of people on youtube like so yeah we'll just see how we go but that is literally everything that we've got for him so far so i've been waiting to film this video for the last two weeks just so i can now wash these clothes um in some non-bio um washing up powder and then I'll put them in the drawers. These drawers are empty at the moment, so I can't wait to start filling them up. And then, like I said, I also have some big baby buys that I have purchased and been given, so I'll do a separate video on those. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. Leave a comment down below of anything that you think I might have missed and might need. Um, it would be really, really helpful. Um, but until then, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye!